Hi, one of the big changes in MeshLab in the new version was the way that uh, the layers are handled, especially for the visualization. So if you have a look at the, the main interface, you will see that, that there are uh, the visualization mode buttons still present, although not all of them. But uh, you notice that if you just select one of them, and for example you visualize the bounding box, you see now that the, these buttons are not mutually exclusive anymore. So in the previous version, if you've switched the uh, bounding box, uh, all the others visualization uh, were uh, made invisible. So in, the, in this new version the visualization of the different elements can be uh, uh, on at the same time. So I can like, for example switch on the visualization of the triangulation, triangulation together with the bounding box and the uh, smooth surface visualization. So this is a uh, kind of different, but essentially, more in general, everything relating to handling the visualization has, has been, mo been moved on uh, in the layer dialog. So even in the version 1.3.3 of MeshLab, there was already the pos possibility to handle the visualization of different layers in a different way. So it was possible not only to make them visible or invisible, but to have uh, like one layer visualized uh, with the uh, um, the pure surface and the other visualized with a uh, uh, point rendering, for example. Well, uh, now there is still the possibility to change the visualization mode uh, by uh, working directly on the layer, and uh, also in this part, clearly. Uh, the visualization mode are not mutually exclusive anymore, so you can switch on and off different visualization. And the other important thing is that uh, several options related to the visualization has been moved in this part of the layer, where you have uh, much more control on them. So, for example, if I'm uh, visualizing the bounding box of the object, I can choose, for example, to change the color. So I have a user-defined white color, or you can, I can use the mesh color, or if I click here, for example, I can uh, change the color of the bounding box. The same is for the other uh, visualization. So for example, for the points, I can use the vertex color of the point, I can use the mesh color, or I can, I can use a user-defined value. For the points, again, there is also the slider that gives you the possibility to change the size of the point. We kept the alternative way to do that, which is uh, clicking the Alt button and then use the wheel of the mouse, which is very useful. And there is also the possibility to change the shading. So have, uh, let me switch back, have a user, usual shading using vertices. You can remove the shading and see only the pure value of the, the color of the points. And there's also this other dot decorator, which doesn't work that well but we are going to improve that. Uh, if you switch, for example, to the visualization of the grid of triangle, you see that you can keep the color of the points, or you can use the mesh color, and you have, again, the possibility to have the shading, or not, and see only the plain uh, triangulation, and again, the possibility to define a color of the edges in order to make the triangulation more visible. Also here you have the possibility with this slider to handle the width of the edges. Regarding the visualization of the uh, smooth geometry, we already saw in the previous uh, tutorial about lighting how the shading and the backed face uh, can uh, handle uh, different type of lighting. And again here you have, we have the possibility to see the color with the vert per vertex color, the mesh color, or a user-defined color. So these are the four main uh, different visualization modes that can be combined. And uh, clearly, uh, if you are working directly on the layer, uh, some of the, change, the changes that you make in the visualization will be applied only on the layer. But sometimes you have uh, the possibility to, uh, and the, the, the need to change uh, 
to apply changes in the visualization modes on all the layers. That's why we had this option, which is called apply to all visible layer. If you switch it on, this will be applied all to all visible layers. So if you want to apply a change to all the layers, you just you need to make them all visible. And you see that you can change, for example, the color of all the layers at the same time. And, the same, and in the same way, if you want to apply a certain change only to a portion of the, uh, the layers, you just need to make them visible and the other which are not visible will not be affected by this change. So we, you have still some kind of control on the whole layers by using the buttons but uh, with this apply to all visible layers, you will be able also to fine tune and control the single uh, options re re regarding the visualization. So clearly the interface uh, became a bit more complicated with respect to the previous versions of MeshLab, but this was needed in order to give you more power to control the visualization. Thank you. Mm -hmm.